Hi everyone welcome to my channel Autocar09 you walk up to the 2026 M2 Bradley and instantly sense it's evolved a familiar silhouette, track armored hull, but updated in tone and tech. It's still the iconic 25A Macran Marmed IFB, yet now speaks with digital fluency. Scan the exterior, applicate armor panels over the M113A derived hull, integrated reactive tiles on sides, and improved thermal signature coating that gives away less on infrared. There's a new active protection system, higher on a Macron fist light, perched around the turret ready to intercept incoming RPGs. Climb inside and it changes further. Driver's station is still front to left, but analog dials are gone and replaced with Fire Re's digital display showing engine health, navigation overlay, thermal camera feed. The new power of pack brings a 608 HP diesel driving a modern automatic, significantly more than earlier 508 HP engine as of the A4 update ensures the Bradley keeps up despite added weight. Commander and Gunner have their own glass cockpit, stabilized electro optical sights, slur, place the range finder, and a display that brings battlefield data and auto tracking into view. It's not just shooting and it's sensing, calculating, and engaging in real time. Main armament remains the M242 25A Macron Bushmaster chain gun with 900 rounds, twin tow and the tank missiles, and a coaxial 7.62A Macron machine gun. But it's not untouched. XMA 13 Bushmaster style upgrade discussed for future brands adds 30A Macron programmable air burst rounds so pending final decision. Fiery support remains lethal, with ATGMs ready to engage armor up to several kilometers. Around the turret, higher on the Macron fist light sits quietly a radar and sensors expanding detection and countermeasure abilities. When a rocket appears, it lashes out a counter charge, detonating the threat off fake size and reducing danger to crew. Mobility under all conditions remains strong. Suspension has been reinforced and retuned to handle extra armor and systems, chassis ride height adjusted to maintain clearance. Amphibious on the move. Reaches 40A Macron miles per hour on roads and about 25A Macron miles per hour off road speed essential when sprinting with Abrams and infantry platoons. Balanced with that is survivability. Aside from active protection, layered armor or laminated steel, composites, array are combined with spall liners and automatic fire suppression give the crew a fighting chance in serious combat. Inside the tube compartment, Six infantry fit comfortably with modernized blast attenuated seats, improved lighting, and quieter ride. Doors and roof hatches are stiffened hatches now sealed and use glass a reinforced ballistic inserts to boost protection. Climate control and overhaul insulation reduce crew fatigue especially in arid or temperature extremes. Budgets note that the U.S. Army contracted roughly $750 million in upgrades for Bradley A4-M7-A4, and additional orders through 2024-A2025 ensure more Brads reach modern standard. Global operators like Ukraine and Croatia are fielding updated A2ODS set and day 4 variants. Ukraine particularly uses Brads with upgraded 600A HP engines. 968 degrees situational cameras, and improved armor from Gulf War lessons. On the move, Bradley's digital synergy becomes obvious. Commander designates a target via sight auto a track holds aim gunner fires chain a gun or tow vehicle reports back to command net. Unlike earlier iterations, this version works as a node in the sensor or a shooter loop on man drones can hand over target coordinates for instant engagement. During trials, the A4 Bradley engaged enemy drones, light vehicles, and entrenched positions. Gun accuracy was high even on the move, suspension absorbed recoil, and reactive armor minimized penetration from RPGs. Active protection engaged simulated threats with high success. Limitations await pushes into 27 A ton range, mobility impacts at high grades. An opina top hatch is still vulnerable to overhead IEDs are acknowledged and planned for via future hard at top kits.